everybody welcome back this is day two of the potentiometer throttle build um, basically just put a knob on the pot and have wired it into the uh, motor controller everything is on right now so I've got 72 volts going in there I have five volts coming out on the uh, red wire here into the uh, pot and uh, black wires ground blue is the throttle signal and uh, I've got the throttle signal also reading on the voltmeter, two and a half volts. Um, the reason why it's two and a half volts is because I have this set to the motor controller set to bi-directional and that's done uh, using the software that they give you. So you basically just choose uh, joy on there, hit right, and it says written to success and that means that this motor controller has to see two and a half volts now um, or when it starts up, and if you do not have two and a half volts set on your potentiometer, you are it's going to be zero or somewhere else, and it's either going to read low voltage or the voltage is too high, and it's going to give you a warning, and it's not going to work. So in order for the bi-directional setting to work, you have to have the pot set up to two and a half volts, um, which means basically that the motor will spin in one direction from two and a half volts to five volts and in the opposite direction from two and a half to zero. So let's just see if we can give this little seal a little circus ride. All right, we'll turn the uh, pot in one direction. You see the voltage climbing. Whoa, okay, I'm not gonna crank it because that is a really torquey motor and it's gonna fly off if I keep cranking it. Um, it's not bolted to the table at all. <laughs> Let's go to the opposite direction here. So we'll turn counterclockwise, pass through neutral. There you go, voltage is dropping. And we're spinning in the opposite direction. And 2.5 is the proverbial neutral now. So what that means is, uh, aside from having a cool little bi-directional system, uh, which is perfect for boating, I need to I'm gonna turn this light on here. I'll stop it from jumping out of focus. Um, basically, I need to build a throttle system around this. Um, I'd like to use the old throttle system because it had a nice detenting in it. You know, it had like neutral. So I'm gonna have to need to put something like that in. Um, I'm gonna have to build a detent uh, throttle system because I can't keep guessing where two and a half volts is. So, um, or I could just buy, I guess, a throttle system, but. Building your own is much more fun. Uh, the other thing that's, I mean, you know, you have a little bit of control with the software. You can set a uh, throttle position dead zone as well. So, you know, if it's just a little bit off, um, the motor's not going to start spinning. And that's just a setting that uh, says TPS dead and TPS dead high. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. You know, like, I would have used the other throttle system, but it's got a logic board in it, and... Um, they wanted to keep the everything proprietary. They have even like a little epoxy box. That's a cleaning marine. You know, their system was good and reliable for the five years that I've been using it. But, um, well, actually the Navitus just recently burnt out. So, hence my 72 volt upgrade. Um, but, you know, the mentality of people just like trying to make things proprietary. It's like, this isn't a flourishing industry. Um, so, you're not going to make a ton of money by keeping secrets to yourself. And... You know what? The nature of the world just isn't like that anymore. Uh, the internet's about free-flowing information, and um, we're a budding industry, and uh, we should be sharing information, not keeping it from each other. Um, anyway, that's my two cents worth. Let's just uh, send this seal for another ride. He likes it. Go the other way. There you go. So yeah. A uh, successful day, and uh, now, you know, the, the big challenge is building the uh, throttle system around that. We'll see where the adventure takes us. All right, signing out.